Graham from Paragon Performance here. Today we're in the dyno cell and we're doing something very exciting. We're finally tuning a C8. We've been waiting for this for a long time, as you guys are aware, and HP Tuners surprised us recently with the ability to send in the ECM, have it unlocked, and now fully tune it ourselves with the MPVI3. So what that means is now we can customize the tuning on these cars for different fuel types, different conditions of using your car, such as racing it, different bolt-on modifications, even cams, boost, and everything. It's now possible for us to actually tune these cars the way they need it. We're in the dyno today with one of our customer cars. This car pretty much has full bolt-ons. It has the Eventuri intake, the Lingenfelter PTR intake manifold with the larger throttle body, our headers, and our catback exhaust. We've previously tested this car in the dyno back in January, colder conditions with 93 octane in it, and it came back to us with 91 octane, and we're here in June where it's hot and humid. So we're getting to really see the car as it was before with stock tuning and 93 octane versus hot, humid with 91 octane as a new baseline. So we're playing around with it like that, and we're also testing E85 in here, because we're interested to see what that can do. Let's go get a baseline for this car and then jump into the tuning. So here's what we found. First of all, again, the car had 91 octane in it, and I think it's pretty low grade 91 based on what I'm seeing. It's also June, it's hot, it's very humid here in the dyno room, but we baselined the car with all the parts on it and the stock tune, and we ended up at 437 at the wheels and 423 torque. Now, if you guys remember our previous videos, you'll remember we could log some information with HP tuners before, just kind of the basics, but we really couldn't see what the ECM was fully doing. Now, with the ECM unlocked, we can hook up to it, even with the stock tune, and we can see everything. We can see just how much timing's being pulled, we can see how, how unhappy the ECM is with the fuel, and that can make a big difference in the power swings of these cars on the dyno, as we've seen before. So, 437 was our baseline today. The next thing we did was started tuning. Now, we can't add power if there's knock, but what we can do is we can clean it up. We can run a, a better timing curve for 91, better fuel curves, optimize some various things in the tune to get rid of the knock. And what that ended up doing was actually picking up some power where it was being lost from the aggressive timing being pulled. So we did that and we ended up at 451 horsepower and 439 torque. Not a crazy amount of power. We know these cars can baseline higher with mods, better fuel, and even no tuning. But again, this is 91. This is optimized for 91. This means that tuning could still be nice for people in locations that don't have access to 93 or better fuels. You wanna race the car, you wanna beat on the car, you don't wanna to have to worry about the engine you know, wearing prematurely because of it having to deal with so much knock. A custom tune can take care of that and have the car running much better, even though we're not necessarily gaining horsepower. To some people, that's valuable. The next thing we did was get some 93 in here to test that and do some more tuning, and we brought it up to 465 horsepower and 453 torque. Again, very good numbers for today in these conditions in our dyno room, and a nice big jump from the stock baseline on 91. Again, going back to numbers, we've seen that these cars can put down this kind of power with these types of mods and no tuning, but again, it depends on weather conditions, dyno room conditions, and everything else. So for today, 465 was a very good number in my opinion. And finally, to see what these things can really do now that we can tune them, we filled it up with E85 and we tuned that in. And we got to 500 horsepower at the wheels and 486 torque. And as you can see from the graph, it's more torque and more horsepower everywhere. 
Now, we're no stranger to E85. We tuned our C7 on it. We tune all kinds of cars on E85, and we know that even in a naturally aspirated engine, it's worth some good power. And we're seeing the full 35 horsepower compared to 93, again, in, in these conditions today. So that's pretty amazing. Now, we're gonna take a deeper dive into the tuning here in a future video. But for today, people that are curious about E85 and maybe seen others doing E30 mixes or saying you could just put some E85 in these cars and the ECU can adjust, to a degree, yes, that's true. As we've talked about before, the ECM in these cars is full-time closed loop fuel control, which means it can use the trims to adjust for ethanol. But it's not nearly as ideal as specifically tuning the car for E85, which is what we did today. We told the ECM, that this car has E85 in it. So that means all the fueling, the fuel trims, and we optimize the ignition timing, and ignition angle. Everything in there has been optimized for E85 now, and that lets it run safe, smooth, consistent, and make this kind of power. So by now, everyone's probably seen the cost to get started on the tuning. The ECM lock is 1500, the credits to tune the ECM are 400. Those are one-time one -time fee to tune the car as much as you want. But that isn't a small amount of money to pay just to get started on tuning. And that doesn't even include any kind of custom tuning or dyno use or anything else. So a lot of folks are gonna ask, is it worth it to tune my C8 right now, even with bolt-ons, just for pump gas? And the answer is, that's up to you. We can optimize a lot of things with the tuning. We can make the car run a lot better with less knock, and if you're using the car on a track environment, that's pretty advisable and might make sense to you. If it's just kind of a weekend cruiser here and there, it might make sense to wait until you're ready to add boost or a cam or something that's gonna you know, add some significant power and require tuning. We can do it all at once. But if you have access to E85, in my opinion, this is definitely worth it to do a big jump in power have much better knock resistance, much better behavior on the track, and more performance with just using a different fuel type. Okay, so tuning is here. What does that mean for you, and how do we get started? Well, obviously, as we talked about in the beginning, the ECM has to come out of the car and be unlocked by HP tuners. Only authorized HP tuners dealers can request that service and have an ECM sent to HP tuners, and also tune the cars. Now, you can bring the car to us, we can remove the ECM, ship it to HP Tuners, get it back, and then tune the car. Or it is possible to request that service through us, remove the ECM yourself if you're comfortable, send that to HP Tuners, get it back, put it back in your car, and then drive the car to us. The car comes back with a stock tune, nothing has changed, it's just unlocked, ready to tune. The tuning process does have to be done in person, again, by an authorized dealer. The reason being is that after each flash, there is a special procedure and special tools that are needed to synchronize all the modules in the car to have everything communicate again and make the car drivable. If that isn't done right, the car might get stuck and not be able to drive. Now, we're hopeful that in the future, HP tuners will find clever ways to allow that to be done seamlessly and safely in your own garage so that the whole tuning process can be done remotely with you. But for the time being, we do need the car in person to make sure it all goes well. So tuning might not make sense for everyone right off the bat, especially for stock cars or simple bolt-ons, simply because GM doesn't leave much power on the table with these cars. But as we did see when in our testing, we can clean things up, we can reduce knock, improve some fuel economy, drivability, and some different aspects, but we're not gonna be finding a ton of horsepower. Now, as we saw with E85, there's a pretty good gain in horsepower there, so that could make sense for the crowd that's not ready to put a cam in their car or do forced induction. But for the people that are looking to do a cam, looking to do forced induction, this is huge. Now we can actually tune these cars exactly as they need for different fuel, different conditions, different driving styles, and everything. We're gonna be tuning our ProCharge car with an unlocked ECM here very soon, as well as taking our NA car farther down that path with a cam and some other modifications to see what we can extract without any boost at all. So stay tuned for those videos. We're very excited to show what these cars can do with more mods and the tuning. Yeah.